If you're watching this video, then I'm assuming you have a large store with lots of products and also that you're already using metafields or at least you're quite familiar with metafields. If you're not very comfortable with metafields, I've actually already created a video introducing metafields and you'll find the link for that in the top left of this video right now. The problem you might be having if you do have a large store is that you have lots of metafields to fill out and it's very, very time consuming to go into every product page, scroll down to the bottom, fill out the meta field, and then go to the next product and do the same thing. It's ridiculous to do that for, say, 500 products. Normally, when you need to edit your products in bulk, you can go to this All Products page, click this checkbox, and select All Products in your store. Then click on Edit Products and it will show you fields that you can edit in bulk. And you can add fields to this page with this dropdown. But as you can see, our meta fields don't show up here. These are only default Shopify fields. Luckily, there is a way to get around this limitation. Remember my fabric meta field that I'm using on this product? Well, here it is in the bulk editor. So it is possible to access meta fields in the bulk editor. And this is done by paying attention to the URL. Let's go back to the bulk editor that I opened, which is just showing the standard price field. So let's have a look at this URL. It says admin bulk. Okay. And then we have resource name is product. Okay. So we're editing products and that says edit and that says variance dot price. Okay. That's because it's showing the price. So how about we try to change this? We're going to type meta fields. Okay. And then we need the namespace and key of our meta field that we want to edit. Okay. And you can find this on the meta field definitions page, which you can access by going to settings and then meta fields. So you can see my meta fields here. I have like length and fabric. So my fabric meta field is meta fields dot specs dot fabric. This is called the namespace and this is the key, but Basically, you're going to copy and paste or, or type this in. And we don't need the product part. So just metafields.specs.fabric. That's going to go. Oops, I lost it. But that's going to go right after edit equals. Right. And we go metafields.specs.fabric. Okay. And hit enter. And there we go. There's my fabric meta field. Now you can actually edit more than one meta field at a time. So we can have just as we can add fields like the title um, or like tags, we can also add extra meta fields. And the way you can do that is to separate all your meta fields with percent to C. Okay, so after our meta field, after our fabric meta field, we're going to type percentage sign to and capital C. And then we're going to write meta fields, again, dot specs, dot length this time, okay, because this is the namespace and key of my length meta field. Okay, and the URLs just jumped again. But here we are meta field specs fabric, then percentage to C. That's like a, a spacer. And then meta fields dot specs dot length. Okay, and we're going to hit enter. And now we have fabric and length as well. And I'll remove tags because this makes it annoying. It's too big. And now you can edit both of these meta fields quite quickly. So that's all there really is to editing meta fields using the Shopify bulk editor. Um, you can also just copy and paste this somewhere into your notes so that it's easier to access next time. By the way, if you like small tricks like this with editing the URL, let me show you another one really quickly. If I'm on the all products page here, I'm going to delete this last part so that it says admin slash products. And then I'm going to write slash count dot JSON. This is a really useful one for large stores because now it shows my exact product count. So on this store, I have 1,242 products. 
You can also do this to get information about collections and even for customer accounts. So if you want to know more about that, I'll put the link somewhere in the description and at the top of this video. The last thing that I want to talk about is if you truly have a huge amount of products, thousands of products, and even using this bulk editor would take way too long, then you probably want to edit your products in Excel or Google Sheets, right? Uh, for that, you need to export your products. And instead of the default Shopify export tool, I recommend using an app called Matrixify. And this isn't an ad or even an affiliate recommendation or anything like that. Matrixify is just something that I genuinely recommend um, to use instead of the Shopify default export tool. Because when you export with Shopify, you don't have a choice about which fields you export. You simply click export and you can choose what type of file, right? And you can choose all products and that's all. So it exports all your products. And then when you import, you re-import all your products. And, and obviously you don't want to add the same products twice. So you overwrite. But this overwrites all the information on the products. It, it feels very risky. It overwrites the title, the price, you know, all the meta fields, uh, all the inventory in stock, everything. And it just feels needlessly risky, right? It feels like, why would you do that if you don't absolutely really have to? And so the difference with Matrixify is that it lets you export only the columns that you want. So if you want to export only titles, you can export only titles. If you want to export only tags or only meta fields, then you can export only those things. I only have the demo version, but this is roughly how you would do it. When you click new export, you can select exactly which fields you want to export. And here down at the bottom, we have meta fields. Okay, and we can even filter which meta fields we want to export. So for example, if I want to export only the meta fields that I was talking about before, which for me were under the namespace specs, see they're both specs.length and specs.fabric. So I would say the namespace is equal to specs, and then it would export only these two meta fields, but it won't export these meta fields. There's a lot more that I can say about Matrixify, but I think I'll keep it short today. But you can just keep in mind that if you really have thousands of products, then this is the app that I recommend. So that's all for today, guys. If you found this video helpful, then check out my channel. I have a lot of videos that I try to make for specific problems that store owners are having. Um, and feel free to message me or feel free to comment on my videos and request a video on a specific topic. Good luck with your meta fields and see you next time.